All right, welcome. Okay, so we're going to look at the... What year is it? No one knows. Well, somebody knows. So let's have a look. It's 5,782 according to the Jewish calendar. So I'm trying to figure this out because the Chinese lunar calendar has it at the year 4719. There's this consistent discrepancy of approximately 200 to 300 years. It shows up a number of times where it seems that there is 257 years plus a thousand basically added according to the monk Betty Beatty bead bed e it's like I don't know how to pronounce it but yeah there's the I and the J that's less of a big deal to me because I can see the type set and the the character the digit that type of thing and I think it's interesting though that one not one jot or tittle it's jot would I think have to do with the J and then the tittle would be having to do with the I basically maybe it's the cross T or whatever it is in the Hebrew or the Aramaic or whatever where I wonder because if the year of creation according to our timeline would be 4004 it's really close to the Jewish calendar 5782 this year of 2021 of course it's a couple months off the Freemasonic timeline has that as well and it's just like after a while it's like oh, I don't know if we're gonna find out I thought of like the Treaty of 1213, that would go along with like the 200, just over 200 years, something like that. Uh, so there's a lot of good information out there in the comments that I have. Maybe it's 322 years plus a thousand that they added. I don't know, you know, for the 322. Looking back, it was two years ago I did a video called I, J, K, you know, K for a thousand. And I called it, I entitled it The Missing Thousand Years. But I guess it would be artificially adding a thousand years. But it's more like what it really is that they removed 3,760 years. Because if you add 3,760 to whatever year it is, 2021. So, okay, so it's 2021, you add 3,760. So it'd be 5,700 and then 60 plus 21 would be 81. So 5781. Okay. And then uh, according to what I have here, well, the Chinese lunar year would be 4719. The Hijri Islamic calendar would have it at 1442. Um, and. Uh, the Jewish year would, would be 5,781 uh, Masonic, Freemasonic. Are there some that aren't free? I don't know. But at any rate, you go back and you look at just, I always say 1850 because it's like so many things. You go back before 1850, it gets really sketchy, really sketchy. Like my personal family history, it gets very scant. You go back 50 years, it's not so scant at all. Go back 100, it's very scant. And you do have orphans and orphanages and stuff like that. And a lot of times they have these buildings with these fences. I call them mud fences. It's that 19th century fence that they have. So you don't fall down between the mud and the buried building because... Yeah, there's a gap. Plus, they want to kind of hide the half-buried windows and all the, well, evidence of something got flooded there. And where they dug out the flood but didn't fix up the buildings, you can see 
like in this photo, they have this uh, interesting balloon. It looks atmospheric, electric. But they have this fence here that is keeping the people from seeing this ancient building there that is unoccupied right in the middle of the city, right in the city center, the population center, the center of activity. It's amazing to me that it's this way, like Rome, Rome, all, load, uh, all loads lead to Rome. No, apparently not, because the population dropped to crap. There ain't, there weren't any loads being unloaded there where it counts, when it counts, in Rome because the population was scant, it was decimated, it was practically non-existent there. And, uh, but all roads lead to Rome and, well, the center of civilization, all this stuff, people fight over it, it's got all the buildings already built up, it's got all the infrastructure, it's got all the trade routes. It's got all the history. People go there as tourists. It almost had to be rediscovered. The population, they said, dropped from well over a million or 700,000 for a long, long time. And then it dropped down to like 30,000, 20,000, 40,000 by some estimates, as high as 40,000. What would explain that? I think they're hiding something. I think there's definitely something else that went on. You know how it is with, if you've been in, like, if you have any, almost any business that has a storefront, back during regular life, before pretend, back during regular life, when people would go to stores, you want to have that traffic because being around people meant good things. It meant that you would have, build contacts, you would make sales, or you would find opportunities and you could advertise and, and so the high traffic areas were the ones that everybody fought over. That's how real estate works, but not according to fake history, real estate works where you have this magnificent, huge stone ornate building that would take <laughs> decades at least of skilled craftsmen to build and it just sits there abandoned and it looks ancient. Even in Europe, the ancientness, I don't know if that's a word, wouldn't explain would not explain the appearance of some of these buildings. Well, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. It's kind of a quick one, but it's what you guys want. So if you want more of this, be sure to support the channel. I have links below. It's not a cat. It's a link you click on. Have you clicked on it? To support the channel, the cash.me is probably the best way because I buy Bitcoin with that and that's gone pretty well. It's actually, I've made a couple hundred dollars, which is kind of nice I kind of need to do that so if you want me to if you if you like it I, I have a lot of stuff I need to do if you want me to make these I need to do these I want to do these be sure to let me know it's Christmas time after all and my post office box is still operational I haven't gotten anything in a while so there's that as well and I'd appreciate it hearing from you and uh, yeah could use some encouragement that would be nice so thanks for watching, listening, and if you'll be back, I'll be back. This is Douglas, a.k.a. UAP. <laughs> See ya.